Hello and welcome to the first of a series of videos that I will be doing on the AC emulator. I want to get you guys acquainted with this um, and see where the project is currently, um, you know, and uh, show you what's working, what's not. Uh, it is an open source project uh, written in C Sharp. Uh, so if you're a developer, definitely could use your assistance. Uh, there's currently about 30 contributors to the main project on GitHub, uh, but we could always use more. All right, so I just want to show you a few things that do function. Uh, you can attune to lifestones. We can wield items, go into combat stances. You can switch between stances. As you can see, I have learned some spells. I can't fire them yet, but I will be eventually. Uh, NPCs and portals are in the game the majority of times you'll find them. Sometimes there's some that were missing that were not captured during the live servers, uh, but they will be added eventually. Um, vendors. Uh, vendors do function. They're not perfect yet, but they're definitely getting better every day. Uh, you can purchase gems, and as you can see, I've been testing this out all day, trying out different things. Now, it doesn't eat my pyrils just yet, but it will. Uh, I know that that's something that's uh, about to go in. Um, you can eat food, and it does regain your stats, so I'm going to set my health. Alright, so I'm at 15 health, I'll eat my pie. Mmm, back to 30 health. Alright, um, so th that's just some of the basic stuff that's in game. Uh, there's more that I have glossed over for sure. Uh, there's been a lot of back end work being done. Uh, Ripley has been uh, doing a lot with the database, getting everything from uh, the PCAPs, which are the uh, captured data from the servers, uh, the, the original live servers. Uh, that getting that into the database, the populated in the world. That's why we have the NPCs and the life stones and all of that. Uh, Zigegger has done a ton of behind the scenes network work so you can load multiple clients in the world. And you can have people connect from outside of your network. So if you want to run a personal server and have your friends connect, it does function. Um, and uh, there's definitely more. Uh, but I just want to keep this pretty short. Uh, I do want to show you a couple of things that are coming soon. Um, and it has to do with physics. It's definitely in the works right now. I think uh, the, the, the initial pass will be done in the next week or two. Um, and then it'll just get uh, better from there. Uh, this right here is a picture from a uh, custom framework that loads up the AC data and uh, test the physics out. You'll see the chairs and tables are all flipped over. Uh, either a bar fight happened or it was just a uh, bug in the rotation. Uh, that has been resolved. I just thought it was pretty funny. So I'm showing it to you. Uh, this right here, uh, which is a little more interesting, is the physics mesh for Arwick. Uh, this is what the server sees and, and it lets it know that you can't run through these walls on the server side. The client will, will always stop you when you hit a wall, but if the server doesn't know, it'll think your character kept running. Uh, the same thing for projectiles. If you shoot an arrow at the wall, it'll stop at the wall, and the server will know it stopped at the wall. Uh, so th this is pretty important. Uh, it, it, it works everywhere. Uh, this is just what Arvik looks like. All right, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of videos here. This right here is the test for uh, projectiles. It's pretty simple. I mean, if you look at it, it's just a ball shooting a line at a ball. But what, what's happening is that's, think of it like an arrow tracking a target. So I'll play one more time. And, and again, this is just a test environment to get the underlying physics done. Um, in, in the game, of course, it would be 
you shooting, you being the blue ball shooting an arrow at the red target, which would be, I guess, another player or a creature. Um, and the last video I want to leave you with here, let's see, is it this one? No, that's not the one I wanted to show you, so let's go with this one. That's definitely not it. Ruined again. Well, that's okay. Um, right here, basically, it's a lower resolution, so it's real small. I'm going to resize it here for you. Um, you'll see he's flying around. This is, again, in that custom test framework. Um, and the idea is that this is what the server sees. So if, if he bumps into something, it'll stop uh, and know that he bumped into something. It's also not the best option. Uh, I'll show you the one video that uh, does show that much more. Although you can see he's going up the uh, staircase there. Well, incline. Um, and he's bumping into the walls here. But, again, wrong thing. There we go. All right, so kind of keep. Um, and it's just going to be bumping into things. But, but that just shows that the server is going to be able to handle collisions. Okay, it's, it's you know, again, nothing super fantastic to look at, but it's important to know that, that this stuff does function in the test framework. All right, well, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me on Discord. I'll be leaving a link in the description here to the AC Emulator Discord. You can join up. Uh, if you're a developer, please, you know, join up and uh, help out. We could always use more contributors. And if you just want to watch the progress, you know, definitely join in. Uh, there's discussion. People are always uh, talking about different things. And sometimes the developers, you know, have to ask a question about the game. If they haven't played in a while or they don't remember something, it's always good when someone can chime in with an answer. All right. Uh, that's it for now. I'll be doing another one of these videos uh, sometime soon. I, I can't give you an actual real date on this because it's all dependent on when new features go in. Um, but I hope you enjoy it and uh, come back again soon for more.